Hey there, njroot22.com vlog, episodes, whatever. I want to talk today about something, a little flyer that's been going up at se several places along Route 22. It's called the Inclusion Festival for all ages and ability. It's a sensory friendly music, arts, yoga, and wellness fest. It includes everybody except poor people because you need to pay 25 bucks now until uh, May 15th, and then it goes up to like $35 a person, an adult. All kids under 12 are free. They have bands. Uh, Reef the Lost Cause, I looked him up online. He's some uh, hip hopper who likes to smoke reefer. And a bunch of other casual uh, bands. Uh, they have some sort of Jerry Garcia connection as well. And they have, uh, they, they have all the buzzwords here. Uh, it's inclusive, it's immersive, it's, they practice uh, relaxation and, and mindfulness. It's all fine and dandy to us, I guess. This could also be considered perhaps maybe a uh, safe space uh, festival also. But it's, it's all, I, I guess they make accommodations for troubled people or uh, people with a autism and, and stuff like that. You know, just people who don't quite fit in well. I'm gonna take, get rid of this. Uh, who don't fit in well in, in society. Maybe I can hire, uh, hide my cheese stains from a previous episode. That's what you get for crappy bags at the supermarket. Anyway, here's the inclusion festival. So you might want to know what, what it's about, because they're using these words, you know, like I said, mindfulness, and hula hooping. They do hula hooping. So I, I'm going to read from their frequently asked questions uh, when they say sen sensory friendly. What does that mean? Um, sensory friendly is individuals with autism and other neurological differences may experience this challenges related to sensory processing. This means their brains and bodies may have difficulty interpreting and responding to information collected by our five senses, smell, sight, taste, taste touch, and sound. So that's what they mean, sensory friendly. I guess they have, um, they have special places that are quiet and, and they, they laid out the festival in a way that uh, it won't be too crowded, I guess, for those who, who get, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, when you're claustrophobic, I guess, claustrophobic people are also uh, invited to this uh, festival. Um, and the music, I guess some of the music is like easy listening music, and that helps a lot of troubled individuals relax and have a good time. Um, and they said there are very, uh, very many quiet places to take a break from this excitement. Um, and there's workshops for all ages, not just kids. I mean, this could technically be called a kids festival as well. Um, you could call it a kids festival with accommodations for special needs um, uh, individuals. Uh, but the inclusion festival seems to be the more of a more appealing buzzword for today. And here they, they talk about mindfulness here, <clears throat> and they explain what that means. Uh, this apparently doesn't seem to have anything to do with the festival. It's just a, it's a, a thought process. They say, pause and take a deep breath. Now intentionally tighten the muscles in your body. Clench your fists, squeeze your toes, scrunch your face. Notice how it feels to hold this tension. And then relax your muscles. Notice how it feels to relax. Oftentimes we move through our days holding this kind of tension in our bodies without noticing. And they go on to say, mindfulness is the psychological process of bringing relaxed awareness to the present moment. Through breathing and meditation techniques, those who practice mindfulness can learn to tune into mental, physical, and environmental sensations without judgment. Uh, I guess that's a judgment-free zone. Um, I mean, I thought, that, I mean, how does judgment have to do with uh, your physical muscles? I don't know. Um, in this space, we can teach our bodies and minds to release tension, strengthen trust, patience, and acceptance. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how that intercorrelates as, as well, but either, I should say. Scientific evidence documenting the positive effects of mindfulness continues to grow and strengthen. Uh, last time I, I used the word mindful was uh, something, a practice we tried once called mindful eating, where you chew real slow and you think about the cow and the sacrifice he made for giving you that delicious burger and you eat real slow and you, you enjoy every bite and you feel the food go down your esophagus and uh, that's called mindful eating. I, I think I lasted a whole day doing that because I just want to eat and get it over with. Anyway, they say mindful activities have been shown to improve attention, emotional regulation, and sensory processing abilities and to increase our capacity for compassion and empathy. Inclusion Festival aims to share tangible mindfulness strategies and accessible techniques with participants so they can 
So they are able to, to experience the benefit, benefits of mindfulness all year round. Uh, anyway, they, they go on to tell you what you should bring. Good vibes. Bring some good vibes. Um, and, you know, they talk about why uh, festivals are important. It's, uh, they tend to invoke a sense of joy and appreciation. And uh, you feel positive energy radiating. It sounds like the, I might smell patchouli oil there as well. And then they call it, talk about neurodiversity. Um, neurodiversity is another uh, catchphrase they use. And it says it's a new concept that challenges conventional thinking about ability and individuality. The term suggests that cognitive differences like autism and ADHD are the result of normal natural variations in the vasty, vastly complex and diverse human genome. Um, and they say instead of viewing these variances as pathological in nature, proponents of neurodiversity assert that, assert that cognitive differences have been present throughout history and have added immeasurable value to human evolution and society. I, 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 one, tend to, to think that uh, ADHD is probably a, 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 a human, uh, uh, the rise of it, a human, human, um, um, a human cause thing from the foods and all the, the processed crap that people eat and sugar, sugar laden foods. And I, I think if you just eat uh, normal, normal, normal meats and, and stuff like that, you should be fine. Um, I, I may, maybe ADHD also has something to do with the technology and the, and the toys that the kids are using today and the helicopter parenting and just letting, you know, I don't know, I, I can go on with that. The concept of neurodiversity is gaining traction. It provides a broader model, that also means it's usually ga uh, gaining extra money and funding from the government. It provides a broader model for acceptance and understanding which will ultimately help people with neurological differences more easily obtain the accommodations and supports they need in order to be the best versions of themselves. And they go on to say, can you bring the camping gear? And they have some camping stuff going. So that's about it for this inclusion festival. It's, uh, like I said, it, it's no further than a two hour drive, almost anywhere on the, uh, on the route22.com uh, coverage area. Uh, if you're, you know, Bridgewater or East, uh, your best bets to hop on Route 80 to get there. You can look on a map. I'll have a map inside the, the blog post this is on. And if you're out in like Peaburg or PA, you have to take some side uh, other county uh, and state roads to get there. That's about an hour and a half drive from Phillipsburg. Um, but two hours from, uh, from either uh, Branchburg or uh, Bridgewater or even as far as Union, it only takes two hours to get there because it's really easy to get to 80 from there. Um, and that's it. Uh, something you might want to consider uh, if you if you fall into one of these categories or have a special needs child or or mate, it's it's not a bad thing. It's 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 cool. Uh, I guess it's hard for for some of the more challenged people to go to like really loud rockin' festivals because they they won't fit in. So this 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 will help many people fit in. So that's it. Mm -hmm.